Do you know the muffin man? Thank you. All right, quiet down, quiet down. Now listen up, fellas. There's been rumors of a little brown man running around town and causing trouble. I can assure you that these rumors are not false. As a matter of fact, I've seen the little gumdrop myself. Now by a raise of hands, does anybody know anything about this? Any, anybody? Nobody? Well, maybe this will jog your memories. He's a little cookie covered in candy and icing and looks like he came from one of Craig's unique paintings. <laughs> That's what I thought. Whoa, one at a time, one at a time. Craig. All, all right, not, not very helpful. Jim. Jim, what do you got? Jim, that is what I'm talking about. Craig, get Jim a coffee. Chop, chop, chop. All right, so the places, the places he's been spotted are here, 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 and here. Huh, what was that, Jim? Where'd you see him? That's all the way on the other side of town. Well, if we look at his most recent visits, we know he's been traveling northeast, and that means he came from Drury Lane. Now, I may be mistaken, but there's a bakery on there. Am I right? Am I right? Huh, what was that? Jim used to work there? Jim, is this true? Craig, shut up, nobody asked you. <laughs> <laughs> well, did anybody else work there that could have created this baked goodie? Mm. Huh? The muffin, the muffin what? The muffin, the muffin man? Who's? Wait, you don't think this could be the same muffin man that's the biggest crime lord in the city, do you? Mm. Well, if so, we know he also had an accomplice, a right-hand man, someone on the inside. And, and based off of what we know on the gingerbread bandit, we know he was baked around the same time Jim was working there. Jim, I'm only gonna ask you this once. You better swear on your sweet old granny's life that you were telling the truth. Do you know the Muffin Man? <laughs> Lock him up, boys! Craig, I swear, if you say one more word, we are locking you up too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>